Hello, uh, my name is Lucien Chi. I'm the PTL or project technical lead for the DCAE project in ONAP. It's nice to meet you and it will be a pleasure to introduce DCAE to you. Thank you. DCAE stands for data, collection, analytics, and events. So essentially when you're operating a large complex network, the constant monitoring is a must have. And the DCAE uh, performs that task for you. So in terms of DCAE's role in ONAP, think of DCAE, if you think of ONAP as an organic system, then DCAE is like the overall sensory um, system for, that, um, for the organic body, such as for humans, we are the skin, we are your eyes, we are your ears, we are your nose. Uh, DCAE collects data from the network, various network functions uh, inside of the network, and DCAE performs analytics on such data uh, either it's performance data or the fault data. Uh, after the analytics, and DCAE, DCAE would uh, summarize what it gathered into high-level events, possibly alerts, and send it to other components of ONAP for subsequent operations. The uh, data collection and analytics functions, they, they have a long tradition in any network operators. Uh, what's really new challenge that's brought up by the virtualization and the containerization, all those new software practices is that uh, now network services, they perform and they operate at a much more dynamic way than before. Um, it's just incapable for humans to keep in constant eyes on that and uh, uh, just detect things with their eyeballs and perform operations. You have to maximize automation. That's, um, that is what ONAP is about, and DCAE being the sensory part of the ONAP system, we provide the intelligence and we provide the analytics to the ONAP system, so ONAP system can perform uh, accurately and in real time. This is a standard ONAP architecture diagram and we, we grade out all the other components so DCAE stands out. This is a DCAE, uh, sits in the overall architecture. Functionally, uh, imagine, if you imagine ONAP is an organic system, uh, then DCAE is really the sensing and the making sense part of this organic system. Right? We get raw data from network, all kinds of network functions. We analyze it and we generate alerts. And this way, the rest of ONAP system, for example, policy, for example, SDNC, AppC, they can all perform based on this intelligence. Uh, so they can operate the net network better, more reliable services are provided to our customers in a more timely fashion, dynamic based on where the business demands are. And the role of DCAE in ONAP operation is such that uh, after a VNF system or service they, it's deployed, then uh, the own app needs to constantly monitor how the system performs. And that's where DCAE comes in. So on the bottom, we have the VNFs. They are deployed by own app, and they're in normal operations. And they report data into DCAE's collectors. Right here, we have two as examples. Those collectors are specialized, each collecting one or more special types of uh, data. Um, the collectors, the implementation currently, they are containers because, as I mentioned before, DCAE does have the deployment um, uh, function, which is we want to be able to deploy collectors in a very dynamic, on-demand fashion, and of course, containers being the best format right now. Uh, but it does not have to be. There are additional formats that can be supported as well. After the collector receives the data, it will do filtering, it will do transforming, it will do enrichment, and uh, it will do validation, of course. After all those steps, the collectors, they forward data into the next stage in DCAE, which is analytics. Uh, again, there are many kinds of analytics based on the model of the control loop. Uh, what's needed, DCAE platform can deploy both collectors and analytics um, following the model description, following what's in the ANAI, the current deploying situation, deployment situation, such things will be deployed at the right place, just in time, just in place. Um, so after those 
data being crunched inside of analytics, the results are summarized into events or tickets and send it to additional ONAP components such as policy or external functions such as network companies uh, ticketing system.